Are you thinking about selling your home this spring or summer and you're wondering how to prepare your home for today's market? Well, in this video, my colleague Karen Zarni and I are going to tell you the best ways to clean and sanitize your home. And we're getting started right now. What's up everybody? I'm Paul Ambrosio. And I'm Karen Zarni. On this channel, we'll talk about living in Chicago's best suburban communities, where they are, what makes them so great, and in some cases, not so great. You're gonna get the truth here. So if you're like my wife and I 20 years ago, getting ready to start a family and looking to move out of the city of Chicago into a more family-friendly area, or if you're relocating to the area, this channel's for you. Make sure you subscribe above or below, tap on the bell so you're notified whenever we upload new videos to this channel. Honestly, we do get so many phone calls, text messages, and emails from so many different people looking to move to the greater Chicago area and also move out of the area. We absolutely love it. If you're thinking of moving or leaving the Chicago suburban communities, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, however you wanna do it, know that we've got your back when moving to Chicago suburban communities. In this video, we are gonna show you how to prepare your home for the spring market, the best ways to clean and sanitize your home. We are gonna give you 10 of Karen's cleaning hacks. And for a bonus, if you stick around to the end, Karen will give you her top five products that she uses in her own home. And we're gonna give you some information on a free giveaway. You don't wanna miss this. Okay. First, let's talk about some of the top things that turn buyers away when they come to see your home. Dirty homes. Nobody really wants to see any dirt, pet hair, or grime just laying around your house. No one wants to see that. Mm -hmm. How about leaving personal items? Buyers gonna see it as clutter, right? Just put it all away. Pack it up and get rid of it. Next, stinky odors. Okay, folks, this is a really big one. Stained carpets, odors from your pets. You know what we're talking about. You made what you made for dinner last night. It could be a deal breaker. Now that you have the top things that turn buyers away, let's talk about how you as a seller can fix these problems and make your home more appealing to buyers in today's market. That's awesome. Karen, tell us about these amazing oils and the top 10 hacks you have. So what we're talking about today is 100% therapeutic grade oils. These essential oils are the lifeblood, if you will, of the plant that protects it and where the nutrients can be found. So what to know about these oils? Well, they're antimicrobial, antifungal, and antibacterial, all without the harmful chemicals and fumes. You can mix them together, use them with vinegar, water, and baking soda for the clean that kills germs and leaves your house smelling great, clean, and green. Now, coming in at number 10 is... Peppermint oil. Peppermint oil is excellent for keeping insects and critters away. Don't worry, it is safe for your pets. However, not all essential oils are, so make sure you check those out in addition to the ones we talk about in the video. You know, peppermint oil, this is a great item. I wish I would have known about this 28 years ago when we were living in city of Chicago, Norwood Park area, we bought this two bedroom brick Georgian. And of course, you know, we had to update it and the yard was horrible. So one of my first projects in the spring was to put lava rock down, to dig up the old bed along the house, make it look pretty, you know, for everybody walking by. Well, one afternoon I'm digging it up and get, turning all the dirt, getting rid of all the stuff. I'm putting down lava rock, making it look all nice. All of a sudden my wife comes downstairs screaming, ants, ants, ants. I'm like, what, what do you, what? There's ants coming up the wall inside the house. And it had to be for me turning the dirt outside. If I would have known about this peppermint oil, we wouldn't have had to move. Mm -hmm. Coming in at number nine, we have lemon oil. Lemon oil is perfect to remove coffee stains and any odors or stains you have on your carpeting. And I think you're watching some video right now of Karen using that product in our office carpet. And what about bathrooms, Paul? Oh, bathrooms, yes I do. Coming in at number eight. If you mix lemon oil with some baking soda and vinegar, it will unclog any clog in your sink. I dare you to try it. I might have to try that one. Moving down the list of my favorite, actually it's Karen's favorite, cleaning products is number seven. 
Adding lemon and oil, vinegar and water to wash grime from cabinets, baseboards and floors. It leaves them gleaming fresh, kills the germs and looks great. All right, number six, what do we got? Well, you mix some lemon oil and peppermint oil into a duster. Um, go around and sweep the cobwebs. They're great at getting old cobwebs off and preventing new ones from forming. Love it, love it. These are some great hacks. I can't believe I never knew of these before. Making our way down the list, coming in at number five. Okay, here's a good one. Spray some lemon oil and water to disinfect your counters, your sinks, your tables, and your appliances. It's a great way to kill the germs and keep everybody safe with their food. That's excellent. It's natural product. Beautiful on your surfaces, natural. Can't get any better than that. By this time in your cleaning process, you should be getting close to the end. These last few hacks will help you cross the finish line and ensure your house is showing ready. Now coming in at number four is... Adding three drops of lavender oil to a cotton ball. Throw it on the ground, vacuum it up, vacuum your whole house. It will do the job and create such a calm and beautiful sensation throughout your home. I love that. So when you, the vacuum, when you're vacuuming, the, the bad smell, gone. Number three. You can also use this lavender, peppermint, and water and spray it on your bed, your pillows, your pillowcases. It kills dust mites and it makes getting into bed feel like heaven. Awesome. So we all know when we go to showings, the men gravitate towards the garage and we want to make sure that your garage is smelling good and clean. So mix some lemon oil with some hot water and clean those floors and walls to get them shiny and dirt free. Great tip. Drum roll please. And finally, the number one cleaning hack from Karen. Diffusing lavender, peppermint and lemon oil. It kills the germs in the air, helps with your allergies and it also smells wonderful for showings. No one wants to smell fish when viewing a home. I don't know why people decide to fry up some fish right before a showing. Karen, thanks again. These are awesome tips. If you know of any cleaning hacks that we might have missed, we'd love for you to comment below with some positive vibes. Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Now, as I promised, the bonus. Karen, what are your top five products that you use to clean your own home? Okay, so Baking soda, vinegar, lemon, lavender, peppermint. It's all you need. That's beautiful. So here is the free giveaway. The first five to comment below with some positive vibes and promise to share this video will receive a free lemon essential oil of their very own. Now it's the top five, so the first five people. Well, I hope this video gave you some insight into spring cleaning and getting your home ready to sell. I just have to give a big thank you to Karen Zarni, this person right here, for helping with this video and making it so informative. If you should have any additional questions about cleaning hacks or any of the suburban communities we feature on this channel, please do not hesitate to reach out and ask. And if you want to talk to Karen directly, please reach her on her website, karenforyourhomes.com. Karenforyourhomes.com. We've got it right here, right there, wherever it is on the screen. Get a hold of her. She's a great individual. If you're thinking of moving or relocating to any of Chicago suburban communities, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. However you want to get a hold of us, know that we've got your back when moving to Chicago suburban communities. And the most important, don't forget to subscribe. And for more information on Chicago's best suburban communities, check out some of our properties for sale at IllinoisPropertySearch.com. This is where you'll find one of the easiest and friendliest property search tools in the industry. I promise you that. Thanks for watching. I'm Paul Ambrosio. And I'm Karen Zarni. With Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate, licensed real estate broker in the state of Illinois and the wonderful state of Florida. If you're thinking about making a move from Illinois to Florida or Florida to Illinois, I want to be your go-to real estate broker. Please give me a call. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.